Okay, I just got done showing you how easy it is to set the tool heights on a bed mill. Now what about a knee mill? The big difference when it comes to setting the tool heights on a knee mill is the fact that the distance from the top of the table to Z home on a knee mill is going to change. Now on a bed mill, the distance from the top of the table to Z home is always the same. It's an absolute. So we use that known distance to come up with a tool height offset value or the difference in length for each tool using that known distance. Well, on a knee mill, we can't do that because one day the knee could be here and the next day it could be a foot lower. So what we, the method that we're going to use on a knee mill is we're going to come up with a standard in which to measure the tools from. This standard is called a reference tool. Now in this case, my reference tool is not an actual tool. What I've done is I've taken a piece of half inch drill rod and permanently locked it in a dedicated tool holder. Now what we're going to use this for is we are going to measure the difference in height between the reference tool and all my other tools. Now I could actually physically measure this with a pair of calipers and type the number in the control. The control needs to know for the height offset value for my tools what it needs to know is the difference in length between my reference tool and my actual tools. Now rather than physically measuring it, in this case it looks like about four inches, I want to do it as accurate as possible. So I'm going to use the actual CNC machine to tell me the difference in length between my reference tool and my actual tools. Let me go show you how that's done. Okay, let's start with the reference tool. How do I know how long to make my reference tool? Well, a good rule of thumb is take the amount of z-axis travel you have, in, in this particular machine it's about four and a quarter inches, and add it to the shortest tool that you're going to use. So my reference tool is approximately four and a quarter inches longer than the shortest tool that I'm most likely ever going to use. That's just a good rule of thumb to get you in ballpark. Okay, I got my reference tool loaded up in the spindle. Let me explain to you how we're going to use the reference tool to measure the difference in length between all the other tools. What we're going to do is jog it down to a position and have the control remember where that reference tool is. Then we'll load up another tool, jog down and touch that same position. Now it's going to take an additional amount of movement for the control to get that shorter tool to that same position. The control then knows the extra distance that that tool had to move to touch the same spot that we used to touch with the reference tool. That is the height offset value. That is simply the difference in distance in length between the reference tool and my tools. Now, for a reference position, there are some better places than others to use for that actual position. What I don't want you to do is use the top of your stock or the top of your workpiece. The reason for that is that may be gone in an hour or the next day. So then I would have to reset that position again since I don't have this position anymore since the stock is removed out of the vise. So you want to pick a place that you can always get to, like the top of the table or in this case the top of the vise. I add an extra little thing here too is I use a one, two, three block off the top of the vise. What this does for me is when I'm jogging down, it makes it easy for me to move the one, two, three block out of the way, so it makes me easy for me to touch off both the tools and the reference tool to the reference position. So, in this case, the top of my one, two, three block is my reference position while it's sitting on the top of this vise. First thing I'm going to do is crank the knee up so that it's close to the reference tool. The reason why I'm doing this is that I don't want to use up a lot of my Z travel jogging the reference tool down to the top of the one, two, three block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just eyeball it here and get it within 50 thou or so. I'm going to lock my knee down. The next step is for me to hit the F1 Z ref button and some instructions show up on the screen. They say load the reference tool. Well, I've already done that. Then they say jog to the reference position. Now I'm about 20 or 30 thousandths above my one, two, three block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into incremental mode and jog down in slow incremental at times 10. Each time moving the one, two, three block out of the way. Now the goal here is for me to just touch off the reference tool until it just grabs the one, two, three block. I just got to that point. Now I'm backing up a little bit. Because I was jogging down ten thousandths at a time, and I switched over to one ten thousandths, and I'm backing up so that that just kisses the one, two, three block. 
Now, I have the reference tool just touching the one, two, three block. This is the reference position. I'm going to tell the control right now to remember that position. So it says the third step, press F10 to save the reference. Now all the control do has done is simply memorize where it's at. Okay? This is a temporary position. Now we're going to take the rest of our tools that we have for this job and we're going to load them, come down and touch off the same position and the control then is going to measure the difference in distance that it had to move down for that particular tool to touch the same position effectively giving us the difference in length between this reference tool and all our other tools. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hit tool check, bring the reference tool back to the tool change position. Okay, I got my tool number one loaded up, jog it back over the top of the vise. Now I'll just as a reminder, during this whole process, you don't want to move the knee. When we're done, we can move the knee wherever we want. So if we had to get a big part in there, the machine with these same three tools, we could do that. No sweat. But while I'm measuring the tools, the knee's got to stay at the same position. I'm going to take my one, two, three block, put it in position, and I'm going to jog down. I'm in fast jog right now. I'm going to switch over to slow jog when I get close to the one, two, three block. Okay, I'm within 20 thousandths or so, so I'm going to switch over to incremental. Okay, I'm switching over to tenths. Back up a little. There we go. The tool number one is just touching the one, two, three block. Okay, I got tool number one just touching the one, two, three block. What I want to do is make sure that the cursor is on the height offset value for the tool that I'm measuring. This is number one. So move the cursor to height offset value number one and hit F2, which says manual. That's so it's manually measuring the difference in length between our reference tool and that tool number one. The value that it just came up with is minus 4.1140. That means that tool is minus 4.1140 inches shorter than our reference tool. That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to hit tool check. Jog on over. Get my tool out of the way. And switch over to tool number two. Okay, I got tool number two loaded. I'm going to jog back over the vise. Grab my one, two, three block. I'm going to fast jog down, get in the ballpark. Looks good. Switch over to incremental. There we go. Okay, I just got tool two touching the top of the one, two, three block. The controls automatically move the cursor down to the next tool, tool height offset value for me. So all I have to do is hit F2, manually measure. Now, as you can see, this tool is a little longer then tool number one. So its height offset value is 2.9238. That means that tool is 2.9238 inches shorter than our reference tool. Okay, we just go grab tool three now and do the same thing. Okay, I got tool three loaded, which is a drill chuck. Has a 200 thousandths drill in it. I'm gonna jog it back over the vise. Got my one, two, three block. Get a fast jog down, get in the ballpark, switch over to incremental times 100, get her down real fast. Okay, within 10 thousandths or so, switching over to times 10. Gonna get it so that drill just kisses that one, two, three block. Okay, we got the drill just kissing the one, two, three block. This is tool number three. Gonna make sure the cursor is on height offset value three. Hit F2 to measure it. Now, the value it put in for the drill is only minus 0.4249. That, mean that, that means that that drill is only a little bit shorter than our reference tool. Okay, that's all there is to it. I've measured the height offset values for my three tools to do this job. Now, if I had 25 more tools, I would just continue on in the same method, touching off the top of the reference position here, measuring the height offset value for each individual tool, and be sure to hit F10 to save, to save the work that you've done.